Imagine what your life would look like if you made an extra $3,000 or even $5,000 per month. This is what some of these shops have achieved by selling print on demand mugs. With the new trends emerging daily and incredible advancements in AI tools, anyone can easily start this business anywhere in the world and generate passive income. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This particular store called Spoken Gifts makes about $24,000 monthly selling personalized items, including tumblers and mugs. Lifetime revenue is over $2 million, which is impressive. This is not the only store like this. The store called Business Related makes about $3,800 monthly selling personalized mugs. Over the store's lifetime, they have generated revenue of about $75,000, which is good. Analyzing these stores further, starting with Spoken Gift, you can see that one of their best selling items is a very simple text based personalized mug. I will use my favorite research tool, Everbee, to get more information about this listing. To follow along in this tutorial, you can use the link in the description box to sign up for free. Click on Analyze Listing to pull up the stats. You can see that this mug makes about $4,851 monthly in estimated revenue, not profit. Reviewing this listing from the book-related store, you can see that there is nothing spectacular about the mug. Customers send in their desired pictures and they are simply placed on the mugs. And this strategy is making this store about $5,000 monthly on this mug alone in estimated revenue. The profit on print on demand products can be around 30%. As much as these stores are doing well, it is possible to create best selling designs for mugs using AI. This listing with different sarcastic words combined with funny looking animal characters is doing well right now. From the stores I mentioned, you will notice one thing in common. They make a lot of sales, which means a lot of mugs to buy, hold inventory, package and ship out anytime someone makes a purchase. To make the process easy, this is where print on demand business model comes into play. With suppliers like Printify that integrate seamlessly with multiple platforms like Etsy, Shopify and even TikTok shop, one can easily open a store choose one of their best selling mugs, add designs, and anytime a sale is made, Printify will handle the rest. Your only job will be to ensure that you have good designs, an optimized store, and a strong marketing strategy. With that being said, in today's tutorial, I will show you how to create or find winning designs, open your store specifically for Etsy while linking it to Printify. How to create killer listings, including outstanding mockups, titles, descriptions, and tags, all with the help of AI. Starting with designs, for this tutorial, we will focus on creating an image similar to this with the help of AI. Multiple AI tools can create this type of image, but we will be using DALI 3 because I find the image quality similar to the image we are trying to recreate. In ChatGPT, upload the reference image and ask for a similar image to be created. ChatGPT will try to create something similar. After multiple iterations, I was able to generate this stunning image and this as well. Next is to download the image to your computer before the image can be used first. Further, it has to be upscaled and I like to use the website, select the image type, upscaling four times and noise reduction highest, click OK and start. Once the upscaling is done, download the image and we will move to the next step. Heading over to Canva, which is the design tool we will be using today, we will create a custom size of 2700 by 1120 pixels, which is the design size of the particular mugs that we will be selling. I will show you the mug in a few minutes. Once the design canvas is open, upload the upscaled image and place it on the canvas. To remove the background, I will change the canvas background to black, then click on edit image, remove the background and this is done. You can make adjustments to the color of the image if you want by going to adjust, 
scrolling down, choosing blue and making the necessary adjustments. This looks good to me. And the next would be to add the sarcastic text to it. Before the text is added, we need to add a middle border. This will help to make sure we are designing in the right space because when it is uploaded to the mug, we need it to fit perfectly. For the text, click text and a box will be added. Then click on duplicate to create multiple boxes. Then go ahead to break your text into different boxes while using different fonts and colors. This is the final text and it looks good. However, because we want to place this on a white mug, we will change the background to white and the white text to black. Next, select the designs and group them, then copy and paste. Move the duplicated design to the far right and make sure all designs sit properly. Next is to download the image with a transparent background. But before that is done, we need to delete the middle line used as a demarcation. Then go to share, download, increase the size a bit to preserve image DPI then download and save it somewhere on your computer. In case you don't want to go through the hassles of creating designs yourselves, I have an excellent alternative for you. These designs can be bought or even downloaded for free with a commercial license to use the images endlessly on print on demand products. With access to platforms like Creative Fabrica, one can easily download these images for free. Using the link in the description box, you can sign up to get access to 10 free bundle graphics and after the items are exhausted you can choose a subscription plan that allows you access to millions of graphics fonts mock-ups and so much more now we have our designs ready the next step is to open our etsy shop integrate with printify and put the design on our mug to open the etsy store Visit Etsy.com, scroll to the end of the page, click on sell on Etsy and follow the prompt. It is very easy. If you need a detailed video about this process, I would leave the playlist in the card above. Next is to set up your Printify account. Use the link in the description box and it will bring you to the Printify website. Then go ahead and sign up for free. Once you sign up, come to the top left corner and click on create my new shop. It will ask you to add a store and choose a platform you would like to integrate with. Choose Etsy, sign into your Etsy account and complete the integration. Once the process is complete, we need to add mugs to our store. Head over to the catalog, then mugs. You will see all types of mugs, but before you choose, you need to know that Printify uses multiple vendors and you need to do a bit of research to choose the vendor that has a good reputation. I like to use this 11 ounce mug from Spoke Custom Products. Click on Start Designing, then go ahead and upload the design we created earlier. You could see how perfect the design fits in the design placeholder. This is going to be this side of the mug, and this is going to be the side of the mug. Once you are satisfied with the placement, click Preview to see how the design looks on a mock-up. You can see how the design turned out. Next, click on Save Your Product. This will create a draft listing with or Printify default mockups. Once this is done, the next step is to create our title, description, tags, and price. For this step, I like to use a particular GPT from the GPT store in ChatGPT. Heading to ChatGPT, click Explore GPTs and search for Etsy SEO Expert. Click on it and start a chat. Next is to upload the design image and ask it to write a product description with a title and tags on a sarcastic coffee mug. This image and text combination will help us create something unique. Once the description, title and tags are created, you need to double check with other selling Etsy listings using Everbee to ensure the tags are the ones people are searching for. Once the checks are out of the way, copy and paste the title and description in the draft listing on Printify with the price and save. This will be uploaded to your Etsy store and saved as a draft. Next, we need to change the mockups. Even though Printify gives us some, it is not competitive enough to get one. Head over to Creative Fabrica. I found this image and it looks good. Download it and head over to Canva. 
Coming into Canva, create a custom canvas of 4,000 by 4,000 pixels, which is the size of mock-up images for Etsy. Once the canvas opens, upload the image of the mock-up, place it on the canvas and set it as the background image. Next, copy the design we created earlier and paste it on the mock-up and make the necessary adjustments. Once you are satisfied with the way it looks, download the image and head over to Etsy. In your draft listings on Etsy, edit, click on add image and upload the new mockup. Once that is done, choose the image as your primary image, click on done and apply. This looks good. Go ahead to make sure that everything looks okay. The final step is to preview the listing to see how it will look from the customer's perspective. Next, go ahead and publish your listing and it will be live for customers to make purchases. Anytime you make a sale, Printify handles the rest. You handle customer service and creating more designs and listings. As much as some people would say Etsy's a numbers game, it is also about quality and your ability to stand out from your competitors. If you'd like to know more about setting up your Etsy shop, you can check out this playlist linked in the card above. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and turn on your bell notification to know when next I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.